As technology advances and the world seems to get smaller and smaller, we become even more aware of the fact that we are living in a global village. And as the demand for moving cargo becomes even greater, providing a viable means of transportation is becoming a major concern. The mounting costs of road construction and the impending threats to our environment are among the many considerations as we look to the future. The good news is that there's already an infrastructure in place in North America that can accommodate the much needed growth and work in tandem with other existing methods of transportation. It's the St. Lawrence Seaway. Considered the marine highway to the heart of North America, this historic inland waterway is now referred to in many quarters as Highway H2O. President and CEO of the St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation, Richard Korf. The St. Lawrence Seaway is a system of locks and channels which allows vessels to uh, discharge cargo into the heartland of North America. It starts in Montreal, it raises vessels 600 feet above sea level over Niagara Falls um, into Lake Erie and beyond. It's part of a bigger system, what we call Highway H2O, which is 2,300 miles of water transportation, the water highway. Well, the ports uh, along Highway H2O are the interconnection with the road and rail transportation. They're the on-off ramps of our highway, um, and they provide this access to the road and rail uh, transportation system. And Highway H2O is a practical means of reducing greenhouse gases and also of reducing our dependency on fossil fuel. The marine mode of shipping cargo offers several appealing features. It provides environmental sustainability, directly contributes to our quality of life, and enables industry to be competitive. A, a vessel on Highway H2O can move cargoes over long distances on a small amounts of fuel. For instance, uh, 500 ton miles on one gallon of fuel. More than twice that of railways, and pretty well eight times or nine times the distance a truck can move it. And it does it at a minimum greenhouse gas emissions. Since its inception, the St. Lawrence Seaway has moved over 2.3 billion tons of cargo valued at over $285 billion. Its historic opening in 1959 included Queen Elizabeth II and President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Well, it's not a seaway, it's a binational operation. It uh, is a joint operation between the U.S. and Canada. There's two locks in the U.S. which are operated by our sister company, the St. Lawrence Seaway Development Corporation, and the 13 locks on Canadian soil are operated by us, the St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation, on behalf of the government of Canada. The seaway's 15 locks represents infrastructure that already exists, it's being paid for, and it's something we shouldn't use more extensively because it will reduce our need to in invest in infrastructure on the road and rail side. The International Seaway section has been in operation since 1959. Here on the Welland Canal, we've been in operation since 1932. And while we're not looking to change our infrastructure, we have to apply modern technology to give it a new lease of life. We're doing this through a number of means. One is hydraulic uh, controls on our equipment. We're changing uh, wire rope operated equipment into hydraulics, which gives us a uh, more reliable system, able to operate in more inclement weather, and at a lower cost. The existing system provides a means of filling and emptying locks that hold 91 million liters of water, opening and closing 500-ton lock gates, and lifting ships over 300 feet within the Welland Canal to climb over Niagara Falls and reach Lake Erie from Lake Ontario. By utilizing the latest in innovation and technology, the system has become indispensable in today's global logistics network, facilitating commerce between North America and its worldwide trading partners. Michigan Seaway Wallander. Uh, yeah, this is Michigan. Michigan Seaway Wallander. No traffic on that level. Log 2 will take you down. We're governed by the lights over. Okay, thank you. Operational Service Coordinator John Chalmers tells us more. AIS is a critical component of the traffic management system or as it's otherwise known TMS. TMS is a comprehensive uh, data management system that really gives the controllers the most up-to-date information available on each and every ship in the Seaway system so that they can schedule those ships in a safe and efficient manner. From its Vessel Automatic Identification System 
to the installation of its new hydraulic operating equipment and the remote control operation of its locks and bridges. The St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation is leveraging its technology to create a highly competitive logistics channel for the 21st century. With these new technologies in place, the St. Lawrence Seaway has an abundance of untapped potential as a marine highway, Highway H2O. Using the untapped potential of the seaway through Highway H2O allows us to increasingly move more cargo on the current infrastructure. We can move distribution points inland, we can move uh, dilute choke points, we can uh, have intermodal uh, uh, connections uh, closer to the final destination for cargo, and all this uh, within the current infrastructure. That Highway H2O can help in the congestion we're seeing both on the East Coast and the West Coast, whether it's uh, Vancouver, or Seattle, or the uh, Long Beach uh, in California, whether it's the East Coast, we're seeing more and more congestion, and the, our fourth coast, our common coast, Highway H2O, can move that cargo inland. What we need to do, however, is we need the politicians to go beyond just embracing the concept to pave in the way to remove some of the obsolete regulatory barriers that prevent this from happening. And as cargo is shifted to the marine mode and brought inland to a port close to the final destination, it will also offer a practical answer to the challenge of increasing our energy efficiency. All of these things can be achieved, but not without the support of the public and policymakers in both Canada and the U.S. Collaborative efforts between our two countries in the 21st century could prove to be even more beneficial than that enjoyed in the 1950s, which established the St. Lawrence Seaway. To learn more, log on to www.greatlakes-seaway.com www.highwayh2o.com or send your email to marketing at seaway.ca.